All right, it is uh, Friday, the 24th, 2nd, 3rd, somewhere, in, somewhere in there. Time for a weekly update video. We've got guests in the shop uh, for our radio days. They came out and helped me. Um, all the other people that were here already bailed. We're the hardcore people. It's like quarter to six here right now. And we're getting ready to leave. But before we do, um, check out what we were up to this week. And it is the start of a new week. It's Monday. Um, finishing up our 250 cylinders. Uh, we just need to do the ballast actuators, put it together, and certify them. Those will be ready to go. Um, Jason knocked out a little uh, Nautilus Easy Driver this morning. So that's good. Logan is working on all of our gas backup systems. That is a lot of soldering and drilling and filing. We have it down to science now. Two of our 212 ready to run boats. Um, this is the Italian one. This is going to be the camo one. Uh, I got the base coats on. We're going to see if I can knock the rest of this out today. That would be awesome if we could. Um, Arethus's battery is charging up. We get to do a final trim and then uh, we'll be throwing paint on her and uh, getting ready to bring her to the lake. And uh, in the background here, we've got some Russian torpedo parts for our one tenth scale Russian G5 torpedo boat. So these are the scale torpedoes that'll go on the back of that thing just for display. Not, not functional. Um, that's going to be a really cool boat. Got a nice paint job going on here. You're not going to lose it, that's for sure. Okay, cylinders are done. Um, three more going to be certified tomorrow out the door. These are the uh, 250s specifically designed for the Gatto 10-inch uh, tank dual shaft output units and this is going in a 96 permit. Um, so that's going to be cool. Logan is working on this cool thing. This is um, a 650 kilovolt motor that's running through a 3 to 1 planetary gear reduction that's going to drive a big 70 mil prop for the steampunk submarine. So he's just rigging up uh, our tests so that we can check it out. Should be pushing about 3,000 RPM, which for a big 70 mil prop and a, a little boat like that should be just about right. Arethus is basically ready for lake trials. Um, everything is rigged up. We did final trim. We're just going to do one more, one more test in the, in the pool. Um, we built one periscope here, the attack scope, and we're going to be venting the ballast tank through that. Um, but it's going to look actually really awesome. Um, hoping in the next day or two to get that thing wet. And working on some decals for the 212s. This is that Italian version that we got going on. So... That's that. It's looking super cool. And these are the new decal sets I got out of Germany. Um, and then this is what we came up with for a crazy paint job for the other boat. I think it's super cool. You're not going to lose it. Definitely not. In the water. So I want to share uh, a, an upgrade slash modification that we did to this standard um, OTW dive module. Go ahead and dive. Um, this is vented like we've done before, but the challenge with that is that when you do it, you cannot surface if the intake is under the, the surface of the water, which is not usually a problem because you're ballasting slightly positive. But what we did is we made a little upgrade here, which is a, a hodgepodge of Merriman and uh, Ron Perot and Bob Dimack and all sorts of things. So it's diving right now. And what's going to end up happening is the uh, water is going to go up to that top probe and then it's going to stop. 
All right, so it's stopped. So that, that tank is now full, but you can see there's an air pocket in there. So if the boat is dove, this snorkel valve goes under the water and seals the intake. Now, if, uh, if you note the level of that water, it's right at that top probe. If Jason surfaces the boat, So you can see that water level is decreasing there until this snorkel gets above the surface and you can listen. So now it's drawing air into the ballast tank through the snorkel. So it's a, it's a quasi sealed system. I really like this. It works really well. We're gonna give it a shot for the maiden voyage of Arethus later this weekend. And this was just a real quick project. Show, show them the torpedo. Um, one tenth scale Russian torpedo. I designed the back there in CAD and we 3D printed that. And Logan just finished building the body for it. Um, we we're just getting a lay of the land in terms of what we need to get for motors and speed controllers. So that's going to be pretty badass. I think the body itself is almost six feet long Russian G5 torpedo boat all right new shirts that just came in that's I think it's a small well, there you go Bit more work we spent, I don't know, maybe the last 30 minutes of the day yesterday on the Zippo monitor. And uh, we installed a sound system in it. So it's got diesel sound now, and we're rigging up the igniters for the flamethrowers. Uh, didn't spend a lot of time on it, but um, I think after that, all we need to do is source a new battery, because the one we had doesn't fit, and then glue on all the broken off pieces. A little bit more on the steampunk sub, which I think we are going to name the Pisces. Um, we haven't decided yet. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but we got a stand, so now it's not laying on the ground. And that's what she is going to look like. Next step, uh, Logan is going to mask all these windows. We got a cool little spiral deal that's going to spin in there. But all of these windows need to be masked. All the little individual panes of glass and then we'll prime it and it'll look like a boat stand for nautilus um we got the hardwood base and the 3d printed supports and the plaque um this all needs to be painted though we're obviously not going to leave it just black it'll look really cool we'll do some dry brushing make it look awesome and uh, then that's going to be ready to go um logan just finished up the sale for a victor layup which we're getting ready for a build um, in the winter time, so that's a long ways down, but at least we've got the hull done. These bad boys, what do you figure those weights weigh, Logan? Uh, each, I don't know, a little over 10, maybe like 13 pounds each? Yeah, those big ones there. So these are the ballast weights for that huge dreadnought. We put it in the tank yesterday, and it floated with the props up out of the water. So all of this weight needs to go in the keel in order for it to float at the correct water line. So we'll make it removable so the new owner doesn't need to haul it around. Otherwise, I think the whole boat probably weighs 50, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, something like that. Uh, especially these weights in them. Yeah, yeah, big boat. Arethus is all checked, trimmed. Ready to go. Um, we showed you the new ballast system. You can see the little snorkel inside there. So hopefully Saturday we'll have that thing out and tested. And if it works well, we'll bring it back and paint it up. So it is uh, Thursday the 22nd. Um, Logan and I need to go downtown so he can get his biometrics because we're all getting our uh, citizenship application going in. 
Um, but we had a massive thunderstorm here last night. Like that was that tornado ish. Yeah. Uh, like we came from Florida and we have some pretty good thunderstorms. That was like whole second level stuff. Comparable to a hurricane. Yeah. So we are going to do that. And then, uh, we're all going to take off early, go back and survey the damage to our, uh, house yards and properties. So short day today. Um, hopefully things work out and, uh, we'll hit the ground running tomorrow. All right, Nathan, what, what are you doing? I'm checking to see what did or did not survive flooding the cylinder as we were trying to trim the boat. And it looks like my voltage regulator did not survive. No. Oh. Because it's on, but it has no voltage. That could be somewhat problematic. Yes, I cannot run it well, directly for... off the 12 volts from the light bulb. Well, we'll get you another voltage regulator. Okay. Not a problem. Good. I don't know if you had one of those or not. Of course we do. All right, what's the plan? Trying to get a boat not to sink, but to sink. Sink so, just a little bit. So adding some weight. Lots and lots of weight. Yeah, reposition the batteries there. Maybe Sorry. maybe tidy up the cables. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll grab some zip ties so we can do that. Bit of a rat's nest here. Hey, grab me a paint pen too, would you? Uh, favorite color, favorite color. Uh, How's this going? I think my gyro died too, cause we got we got the di the stern planes. Right. We got the auto. Right. We got ballast. Right. But we don't have anything that has the gyro on it. What's what happens when you give a bath? <laughs> Less is learned, right? One step at a time. One step at a time. Should work. Nope. Say not. Now I have an understanding of Did I hear something? You did. There we go. So so his switch is That's all. So I'm here with Nathan and Edward Sub Ed Tortle. And what what did we do today? What what did you manage to accomplish all day? Oh well, we we managed to match up a bunch of radios for you. We did, yeah. yeah. And you know, three or four guys working around the table. It was a comedy show from the get go, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And I managed to set up Bob and I later. We'll be doing some 900 megahertz testing this radio here. So I set up a test rig, bound it up. So we'll see. So the future of RC submarining beneath the waves may not be so good. There we go. And Nathan, you are busy. <laughs> I was busy, not that I'm trying to change the world of submarines, but <laughs> we were trimming out my permit, including working with the cylinder, as well as the weights and balance. Mm -hmm. and we had, we had challenges. I don't know, your boat was being grumpy today. It was being grumpy. Yeah, we had we had like two failed switches. We had a flooding. Yep, tire flooding. Fix, fix that out. We have a seal now problem. we have two a seal, seal problems, technically. Yeah, so, but we've got a strategy for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading out to the pond uh, we're going to be testing Arethus, the big dreadnought, Permit. You want more, right? I, the Sharks here. Sharks here. Prepared the stern plate using resin, uh, resin print 
grafted in. There we go. So we're gonna have a separate video on that. I'm gonna try and get this edited and uploaded first thing tomorrow morning. We're testing CO2 regulator as well. 16 grams, 16 CO2 regulator. Surprise ballast system testing. So um, on behalf of the crew at the dry docks, uh, Ed and Nathan and Logan and Jason and everybody who is here today, have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you guys next week. My happy place. <laughs>